as their sources have told me, it was Malaysia which first offered a quid pro quo. That if the, that if the Philippines drops the claim to Sabah, Kuala Lumpur would back the Philippine claim in the West Philippine Sea. Is this true? No. It's not. In, if you look at uh, uh, what is it called, the North Balbali, does it even mention anything about Sabah? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know my smile that gets me into trouble. <laughs> in, in giving up Saba does not open such a fun, big can of worms in this country. Remember, even my mother was attacked. No? The, are you giving up Saba, etc., etc.? Yes. And what do we get in return? No? One, another country helps us in. In the other version of that is helps us in the UN. So if Malaysia pulls in its weight, it can convince all the other member countries in, in the UN to support our claim in the South China Sea. Or even within ASEAN, they're, they're hosts for, for this is the year of chairmanship and they're the host. They can support, resolve the issues in the South China Sea. And I gave up yeah, Sabah and I opened myself up to such a juicy item for all of the media to pounce on. Oh. I, to anybody who's entertained this idea that that was possible, that really smacks so much of irrationality. How <laughs> is your attitude to Saba then? You know, I did, you know, Laila, no, as SOJ, did the oh. study. And uh, perhaps one of the biggest issues there is the right of self-determination, you know, which is, I, I understand, part of the UN Charter. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's supposed to trump everything, whether historical fact, etc. At the end of the day, the people who are living there, if they're asked, no, will they say they want to join us or they want to join Malaysia? There was supposed to have been a vote done. Uh, 1960. Whatever year it was. 1960s <laughs> under Foreign Secretary Emmanuel Palau. But he condemned that. And he said that the canons were being brought all over the place. Then that, that can be redone again. No. Yeah. And we're having a, that other study. So we'll see. Mm. But you're not, uh, are you going to openly tackle the Saba question uh, in your term or uh, you prefer not to? You know, after, after, the, you know, after I'm presented with a very good case, then it's an I don't want to offer them for me. But you're not going to drop some. No, no. Okay, but then I still it goes back to um, that, that enshrined right of self determination. They will have to be asked where they want to go. And I'm told that, you know. Previously, there had already been mm. uh, a prime visit done to which they said they wanted to join the Malayan Federation. But the Palaas, sir, actually, Palaas did make a good visit during that time because I was covering him for them. You see, see but I mean, you know, for some of our citizens in Basulta, Basilan Sulinta, we can use the ring kit for purchase. Their basic necessities from Saba as opposed to Sabuanga. Do we really want to open that kind of box? Right. Uh, actually, sir, I have a lot to say about Saba, but this is not the right. Sorry. 